The first week in the academy, we start right out with physical assessments on each one of these recruits to identify what their physical strengths and weaknesses are. Keep working, guys. Keep working. Don't think about it. Just do it. We have an obligation to our, our, our community here to provide officers that are in the best physical shape possible to be able to perform the duties necessary of this profession. Let's go. Where better to start with that than in the police academy? You start with basic fundamentals right from the beginning. Push it. Come on. Push it. Push it. Push it. Good Good job. Job. There you go. So when they leave out uh, of the academy, uh, the hopes are is that they're going to continue those eating habits and physical training habits that we fostered in the, in the training environment. And it's going to help them not, not just better as a person, but it's going to help them uh, to be a better police officer for our citizens. And uh, that, that's what's most important here. The demands of this profession, uh, law enforcement, are, are very challenging. Particularly those officers that are out working on the street. Uh, they're, they're going from call to call to call and um, they're, they're staying very busy out there, they're constantly on the move. What happens is, is if we don't, we don't prepare for that and we don't get ourselves put in a position where we're bringing lunches or whatever it might be to work with us or we're eating healthy, we back ourselves into a corner where we're making bad decisions and uh, constantly eating fast foods and unhealthy foods that are, are not what's best for them. We're lucky enough to have the firefighters allow the Hampton Police Academy here to do a little repelling, little team building exercises. Our defensive tactics program for the basic police recruits is uh, two weeks long, uh, 10 days, and they are not only tested in writing, uh, but they're also tested in, in practical application. All the techniques they've learned here, they have to show proficiency in, as well as the book knowledge that we provided them the first day of class, uh, going over the legal criteria, uh, when it's reasonable and necessary to use force, and what level of force that needs to be used, depending on certain situations. Here at the Hampton Police Academy, we start in day one with our police recruits emphasizing the importance of developing good interpersonal skills and enhancing their ability to communicate with our citizens that they're going to encounter on a, on a daily basis. A guy running the night. Okay, all right. You tried to check and redirect? The significance of treating our, our citizens with dignity and respect is, uh, is very critical, and uh, we take it very seriously. Uh, we're, uh, we're public servants, and it's our responsibility to instill those uh, values in our police recruits. And with that being said, when the officer gets those basic fundamentals down and they have a working understanding uh, of how successful th they can be when we're uh, dealing with citizens, it's going to make their job a little bit easier too. Get your feet off the floor. Get your knees up a little bit. All right, sprint. Fast, fast, fast. Let's go, go. Get those feet going. Fast, fast, fast. All right, everybody on your back. Legs out. Remember, look back. While this is a critical phase in uh, the police recruits training, it's just one portion of the training that the recruits are going to be exposed to throughout this 24-week period, and it's a stepping stone. The next course of scenario-based training is going to be firearms, and uh, that's going to be a very big week for these police recruits, and it's coming up here uh, in the very near future. I love